Good afternoon, everyone. So today is Sunday and I thought I might do a fun little video where we can do a bit of a shop with me because I didn't do much yesterday. I sort of just had a little bit of a content day, a little bit of relaxing, and I met up with some friends in the afternoon, but I drove, so I hardly had anything to drink. And then I came home and watched Red Notice on Netflix. Would definitely recommend if you guys want a really fun, lighthearted movie. It's got Gal Gadot, who plays Wonder Woman, The Rock, and Ryan Reynolds, who literally would be my husband if I wasn't happily with my partner. <laughs> so I love that movie. I thought it was really good. And I just baked some cookies, marinated in fake tan, and sat with Momo on the couch. So I had a really, really wholesome kind of Saturday night in and had a healthy dinner, which has been a little bit of a focus on mine, trying to get back on track. But now I want to head to Chadston Shopping Center. So I have kind of left it a little bit later in the day. It is 1.57 at the moment. So they are open until 7 p.m. on a Sunday, and it's only like, I don't know, maybe a half an hour drive from where I live. So I can definitely still get there and make the most of the afternoon and and fingers crossed there's a little bit less of a crowd when it's later on in the day. So I have a couple of places I want to hit up. I want to go to Mecca and get a couple of makeup things that have run out. I want to check out H&M and see if the H&M home section has any Christmas decor. And I also want to go to Cook Eye, maybe get a couple of basics. And I feel like I had some other places I wanted to check out there as well. Oh. I do have a very exciting thing that I'm picking up, but you'll find out about that later because it's a huge purchase that I've made and I'm really, really excited to take you guys along and I'll probably do a little bit of an unboxing when I get home later. So that is it. I am just wearing actually a couple of cook eye things as well. So I'm in cook eye top and a little cook eye skirt as well. I got this originally for my birthday, but then it was locked out and so I never got to wear it, but it's kind of this cute little ruffle skirt. So thought I might just wear that with some ankle boots because it has got a little bit colder here again. So I want to feel dressy for my little outing to the shops, but I don't want to like go too overboard. So this is a really, really comfy outfit for me and I can still feel stylish while wandering around and enjoying the novelty of no longer needing to online shop for absolutely everything. Just before we head off and go shopping, I wanted to talk to you guys about one online sale that you don't want to miss. And that is the Parafoya Black Friday sale. So if you've noticed a bunch of my jewelry that I wear. It is pretty much always from this brand. I love their collections and they've just come out with some really beautiful fine jewelry and it's all 40% off. So you just have to use the code BF40 to get 40% off new arrivals, including fine jewelry. And that's from now through to December 1st. So I'll leave the link to all of that in the description box down below. And they also have a ton of clearance items where there are so many beautiful things, including these earrings I'm wearing. And you can use my code Emma20 during the checkout and that will get you an extra 20% off. And a bunch of these items are already up to 70% off. So they're really affordable, amazing quality. And I, just love them. So I'll show you my little shopping essentials before I go running out the door, but this is my current favorite handbag from Orange Cube. I visited their store in Emporium the other week and it's just absolutely stunning. This is the lipstick I've been using at the moment. It's definitely just an inexpensive one from L'Oreal. I bought it at Chemist Warehouse and it is this beautiful honey kind of color. That's the shade 643 and it's called Hot in Real Life and I just really like it because it's kind of like a really honey brownie nude sort of color. This is my little card wallet. I have some hand sanitizer from Aesop because I really love their products. This is my little custom keychain that I got the other week and my phone. So let's get going and I'll show you my outfit on the way out the door and we can head to Chadston. We better say goodbye to the little man before we go. I haven't been able to make my bed today because he's just peacefully laying in here, aren't you, Bubby? Hello, gorgeous. You would literally just sleep all day, wouldn't you? Little cutie. Excuse the giant camera, but I just thought I would show you the outfit in full length before I head off. So this is my little orange cute tote bag. The boots are Peyton boots from Nine West. They're old ones though. And this skirt from Cook Eye, bodysuit from Cook Eye, and all of the jewelry from Parafoya.
So you probably would have seen me with this one, the Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. This is expensive. I think it was like $128. So no, I would not ordinarily spend that much money on skincare, but it's really, really good. I had a little sample bottle of it and then I bought another one and then now I've just committed to the full tube. So I'll definitely be using it sparingly, but it just makes my skin glow. And the other thing, I buy these all the time. Um, another thing just to use sparingly but it's the Debronzy Sunshine Drops. Hey, Momo. And these I use as my bronzer on top of my makeup. I also picked up these slides and just a plain white shirt at Zara because I just thought that would be really nice as a bit of a wardrobe refresh for summer. I'm back home now and I've changed in some comfy clothes because I'm sitting on the floor and I wanted to share with you guys a very big, very exciting, but very expensive thing that I bought when I was in the Apple store today. So if you guys have been with me since the beginning, you would know this is something that was a little bit of a goal of mine. It was on my vision board that I was kind of manifesting to happen if, you know, YouTube and things kind of turned out for me. So because I have been on YouTube for a year now and my channel has been growing I've kind of been opened up to a couple more opportunities and things and I needed something to make this feel a little bit more professional so I bought the new MacBook Pro so now I finally have a laptop which is so exciting because instead of always having to sit at home and working on my old desktop which I've literally had since uni days I now have a laptop so I can feel a lot more professional it has the editing software that I want on it which is Final Cut Pro so you can expect my editing to be getting a little bit better as well and I am just over the moon to have a laptop. I literally haven't had a laptop since I was in uni so it's been which I don't even want to say how long, but it's been a decade basically since I have personally owned one and I've had my eye on these for a while, but I never liked the old MacBooks because they didn't have any ports on them. So I have definitely been like a PC girl through and through because my dad works in IT and I've always just kind of grown up around that sort of stuff. But in this new one, these are now 14 inch instead of 13 inches and they also have a ton of ports on the side including like SD cards, USBs, all sorts of stuff. So I saw this was coming out and it got a little bit delayed because I was going to get it for my birthday in August originally but I kind of got this for myself as a little present so I wanted to say a massive thank you to each and every single one of you who tunes in every week and watches my videos or subscribe to my channel because it is literally because of you guys that I was able to finally afford to purchase this and I'm so looking forward to using it because it's also really going to help me in both of my other businesses as well so let's unbox it together and we can all kind of like celebrate this little milestone because I'm so excited, but I'm definitely going to have to call Mac because in store you can normally like sit down at the Genius Bar or whatever and do a um, like induction session sort of thing where they'll help you set up your computer. But because of um, COVID, they're not doing that at the moment. So I am going to do it via a Zoom call with a consultant. So I've set that up and I will go and give them a call after this and we can go through the whole setup process together. But let's open it because I'm so excited. Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know So I also got the mouse because I'm very much a mouse kind of person. I just really, I know that you can use the trackpad obviously, but sometimes I just find that a bit frustrating on my wrist because I am on the computer so much throughout the day. So I thought I would just get myself this, the magic mouse, and I think it looks really nice and professional as well. So isn't that gorgeous? So shiny and white and brand new. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be extra careful using makeup wipes on my hands but I thought that was really really great and would really accompany the laptop really well for a lot of my work stuff. That 
was so good. They were really, really lovely on the Apple store, like support hotline. The guy was so kind. He literally took half an hour, went through absolutely everything with me because I've always been a PC girl. I do have an iPhone, but hadn't really used a computer like that before. So that was really handy. And now it is like 7.30, which keeps happening to me because outside it's still bright daylight. So that's Melbourne for you, but I'm gonna make something new for dinner that I haven't made before. So I've got this lemongrass chicken curry meal prep recipe from Rachel Ost. So it's this one, I joined her Eat Run Lift membership and I just thought this looked really nice. So I've got all the ingredients and I think I will make that because then that can be lunch tomorrow and another dinner for the week. And it's really, really healthy as well. So it sounds delicious. It has been raining today, so pretty keen to make this one show me what it's like from the other side would you stay another night cause i don't know you but i want to get to know you okay to say this is one of the more involved recipes i've done in a while is an understatement <laughs> there's quite a lot of ingredients here in front of me and not sure why I picked this tonight because I'm feeling a little bit tired, but we will get on with it. So I've got some whole grain basmati rice because I can't be bothered doing rice in a rice cooker. I've got fish sauce, a lime, some spud light potatoes. I like to buy these because they're the 25% less carbs ones. Got some spinach, coconut milk, got lemongrass, chives and bay leaf. There's also garlic, ginger, chili, which I just got as the paste. Um, there's curry powder, some carrots and chicken. So I'm gonna go through the steps and I'll prep this all up and we'll see how we go. I saw you from across the room. When I rest, met, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. 